Coach, so far, what are you seeing from Auburn, uh, especially on the defensive <coughs> side of the ball, and, and kind of looks that they show? I think they're good. You know, they just, they're just they're talented guys, and they're not uh, <coughs> super complicated or elaborate. They're just talented guys that uh, you know are physical and they get after you. Yeah. Mike, with the special teams kicking aside, uh, you've had you know a couple punt returns this season and some penalties uh, even in that last game. What's kind of been the overarching issue there with the special teams unit, and, and how do you kind of try to fix that? You know, with three games left. No, I don't know. We got to just be more disciplined in there. You know, I mean, uh, nobody works on special teams more than we do. We just got, you know, the, the the two last week that I can think of. I can't remember what all one one was. We got a guy in the back, which was just stupid. And then the other thing is that we jumped outside, which that's dumb too. Uh, there was maybe another one. It's uh, obviously Harson's first year in the SEC. I mean, you're only one year removed from your first year as a head coach in the conference. What was kind of your biggest growing pains, you think, for being your first year and obviously, you know, last year being a COVID season, but focus up aside, what was kind of your biggest difficulties year one, you think? Well, all those interruptions were the worst thing, you know. <laughs> you know and then the other thing, and it's I don't think it's lost on anybody, but you know, there, there are those out there to try to make things as joyless as they possibly can, and they did, they successfully did it. And then um, uh, the other is, um, uh, I, you know, the, everybody wants to, everybody come into the SEC and jump up and down and say, well, the, you know, the SEC is uh, special by some gigantic margin, and it's so much different than where, the other, where you were before or whatever, you know. And, uh, and yeah, I don't want you to go away empty-handed because, I mean, I think the, the, the energy and excitement is unique because uh, the proximity of the SEC is relatively close. So the fans uh, <clears throat> get integrated to the point where they all know each other, they spend time with each other, they see each other from one year to the next, and, and it really is quite exciting. But um, when it comes to the football part, um, you know, I mean, you sit there in the dark room, you watch film, you eat bad food, you drink coffee, you dip tobacco, and you, and you, and you sit and you uh, try to figure out how to, how to get after the other guy. And, and you know, and, and uh, guess what? His defensive tackle's this, but his, uh, uh, but his safety's only that, and so it goes. And, and then on, on the other side, well, the quarterback's this, but, you know, the running back, we think we can do something with, something with this. And, you sit there and scheme and grind away, and then <clears throat> you uh, try to have a, a great week of practice. Because I think that's the biggest thing, is a good, great week of practice. And then uh, you fire it away, and, and you know, you'll find it's uniquely similar to uh, the SEC in this way, to the Pac-12, the Big 12, uh, whatever conference voice he was in at the time, because they keep changing the name. And uh, so, uh, I think I would think that uh, that he finds it uh, eerily similar. And uh, Bo Nix, a guy that you saw last season, uh, how have you seen him kind of improve in the last year? What do you remember about him when you played him, and what makes him dangerous as a quarterback? I he's got some mobility to him. You know, I mean, this conference is full of great quarterbacks, and not to take anything away from him, but you know, he's going to present similar challenges to <clears throat> the others we faced uh, this year. You know. 